but it makes me question what the heck is going on with my tank and um I'm, I'm kind of concerned with everything but um I bought another tool from BRS which should be super accurate let me show you guys what's up guys welcome back to the channel I hope everybody's doing well today I got some time off it's Saturday we're gonna work on the reef tank again now this tank has been going through its ups and downs uh where do i start i think my salinity is like way up there uh what i use is this um refractometer to kind of get the salinity and all of that and i haven't calibrated this in like three years i think and recently i noticed like my corals weren't happy and all of that and i went out and bought um a solution to like recalibrate things and when i recalibrated it seems like my my salinity is like super high like super super high and at first i thought it can't be that high because things are still like okay in here it's just not thriving you know there's it's still growing and still okay but it's kind of struggling so i thought initially it was something wrong with the solution so i went out and bought another solution i bought this one here from amazon and it was kind of like all over the place um kind of close so i thought i was like super high in salinity and then i i messed up and i left this cap off of the bottle and the next day when i came back to test again this thing is like way off so it made me kind of question what the heck am i doing or <laughs> where my salinity is so i went and bought one of these off of amazon to see where the salinity is uh, let me show you real quick so you go in and get the lights on right here so you go in you dip it in this side get the water up to the line and the tool see, I'm making a mess right here You get it up to a line, you get it up to a line and it's like all the way up there when the salinity should be around here in the black. But at times I found that the bu bubbles stick onto the, the little arrow that floats up and down and then it like messes up your, your reading. So I'll pour this out and then I'll, I'll get another sample of water in there. Hopefully there's no air bubbles on the reader all right so I still see a little bubble right on top right there you see it could affect things but look the arrows coming down to near 1.030 I'm gonna pour it out and do it again But so there's too much water now. 
force them out and get it to the line. All right, see that? Now with no bubbles on the, uh, the, the float itself, it's like right at, right under 1.030. And I need it within the black lines right here. So I'm thinking my tank is still high in salinity. It was like all the way up to the max right there. So the past couple of days I've been um, like taking out like five gallons and then putting in like RODI water, five gallons like slowly because I, I don't want to shock the tank. But it makes me question what the heck is going on with my tank and um, I'm kind of concerned with everything. But um, I bought another tool from BRS which should be super accurate. Let me show you guys. I bought this uh, Tropic Marin High Precision Hydrometer. It's like a big handmade uh, glass piece right here that floats in your aquarium. And then um, there's readings up here to, to tell you your, um, your salinity. So I'm hoping to use this to finally get an accurate reading uh, of the salinity in my tank to see where it's at and then uh, moving forward when I'm mixing um, the five gallon bucket I'm gonna be using this for the first initial um, batch to get it into um, 1.026 and then from there I'll use that water to to calibrate the refractal meter right here because I, I don't think I can trust these um, if you leave the cap open just for a little bit it's gonna throw off your um, salinity so I, I feel like it's better to spend money on this one time it's like 30 bucks and it's always gonna be accurate and then you can make your own um, calibration fluid when you're doing your um, your water changes and everything the one thing about this is like very fragile. Um, let me take it out so you can see, so you guys can see, but it's hand blown glass. All right, it's glass tube like this, and up top, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm like doing this one handed right now, but you can see the markings right there for your salinity, and right in the middle, um, you see right there two six. They, got it within range marked in blue. So what you do is um, you float this in your aquarium while it's not um, wavy. You gotta have it at a standstill. You float it in, see where it lands, and then that's your salinity. Let me turn off all of my wave makers and everything, and then we'll get this in there and see how it goes. All right, I got everything off. Yeah, this guy is like, has a lot of character. I like him a lot. It's a Niger trigger fish. But um, I got my main pump off and the Ecotex, they're on their battery right now. So it's, it's not too crazy up top. So we're gonna drop it in, see how it goes. I'm seeing it. I don't know. I need to turn off the, the wave makers entirely. It's bobbing up and down too much for me to get an accurate reading. Okay, I got the battery backups off, so no wave makers are on. And this is what I'm seeing. We're like within the blue range. 
point zero a little over point two six so this hydrometer is showing that I'm within range now. So what's going on? It's showing that I'm right under 2.6. Let me show you right here. You guys can see that. It's like right under 2.6. I'm gonna trust this right now and then kind of keep things as is. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll use this to do my water changes moving forward. Uh, like I said, I'll use this for the water, the initial water change, and then I'll use that water to calibrate my refractometer. And then moving forward, we should have um, 1.026. Um, salinity salt water coming in but for a while there i swear i was mixing in a bunch of um or i was like taking out salt water and adding adding fresh rodi water to get everything lower because this tool i don't think it's accurate now i'm not going to be using this moving forward this tool and then the calibration um, liquid is not showing me what <laughs> I needed to confirm. But anyways, guys, let me get this out of the tank. It's super fragile. Uh, you, you just gotta be very careful with it um, because the stem right there, it's very thin and then if you bump it the wrong way, it's just going to snap and break off. All right, tank's back on. I don't know, my salinity was was way off because I put a lot of um, a lot of RODI water in this past week. And I'm glad to see it within range right now. And um, I think it, it helped out, but yeah. That's a lesson to be learned. But yeah, like that that tool, the refractometer, uh, I haven't adjusted it since uh, starting the hobby. And um, yeah, you guys, uh, calibrate your tools and don't do the same mistake as I did. Um, tank overall, I think it's uh, kind of chugging along, but yeah, it's going through its ups and downs. And I did lose some coral then they're they're coming back up so you see right here the octal spawn the hammers and stuff um it's okay a chalice is always okay mushrooms doing fine uh digitata is still here anemone is still here uh all of the fish are fine i removed the two little fishies um magnet that was here that we we would drop seaweed in um, I found that uh, I, not their fault, but I was kind of lazy in not removing it. And then when it's in here, or when you're not cleaning that magnet and it's in here, and you put it in, the fish go all over the, the food. It's dragging that magnet around, and I found like some scratches you can see right here in my tank. So after getting this long scratch right here, I decided to not use the magnet anymore. I just like, I just get a piece of the seaweed, like a little small piece and I drop it in and they, they go crazy for it. You'll see right here. I have a little portal right here. I'll drop it in. One of them would grab it and then they'll go crazy for it. So you'll see, there you go. And then they have a free for all all throughout the tank <laughs> it's pretty entertaining to to watch them feed like this but yeah it, it just shreds up and then everybody gets a little piece right here instead of all of them um, going up to the magnet and ripping it up uh, it shreds it up and it gets all over the tank and i'm pretty sure the corals and the anemone gets a little piece as well 
you that. Anyways, guys, uh, I wanted to keep this video short and just kind of contain it to my salinity issues and what I'm doing to kind of rectify things. But uh, on the next video, I'm thinking about cleaning this area up down here. Um, originally, this 29 gallon, uh, it was supposed to be like a water change kind of station. And then this is the RODI line that goes to the outside would fill up with RODI water and I'll mix uh, 29 gallons and then I'll do a 29 gallon water change but it's been like a year and I haven't used it at all and over here is my RODI station with calc in it I never got the lids on I wanted to do a little project to get the lids on or create lids to get lids on and uh, in the last video, I got these uh, pom pom macro algae, and they're in here. But then uh, I have corals in here as well on a little uh, cheap uh, pixie light. When um, what is what's that company called again? A uh, Marine Depot went out of business. They sold this light for like only twenty bucks for nano tanks, and uh, I bought like four of them. And it's growing the corals and the macroalgae in here really good. All the, the zoas. And I noticed uh, back here, you can see some hornets back there, right in the center. They came back to life out of Dora. I didn't even know that it was on um, this plate, but it came back. So what I was thinking was, um getting the macro algae into this tank and replumbing my stuff so the water from these reactors go into this tank and then overflows back into the sump and then the whole cycle and all of that and then on top of this i'll get lids in and i was thinking about uh putting another tank up here somehow so i'm gonna cut this video short but the next video you'll see we'll work on this whole area right here, cleaning it up and everything. Until then, stay tuned guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.